What's up guys, it's Jared here with Northern Tactics. Here with my mom this morning. I caught one already. We've we've had multiple doubles come in and there's a lot of people out here too, but here's the first fish of the day. We were only down for a couple of seconds here. This here's the first one. Not very big, but we'll take them home. Limits five a person, so I'm gonna shut the shades and we're gonna get dark and I'm, hopefully I'll get some cool footage of them coming in. We had like four fish, four different fish roll through there yeah. right away. How's yours? How's yours look? Oh, look, she oh. told me to fish the whole water column. Yep. So I was down at the bottom for quite a while. That's good right there. Is your camera on? Yeah. <laughs> Warm said I'll say something dumb. Well, stupid. just don't say anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. So I rigged up this rip and wrap so that I can reel this one up and then put this one down and uh, make some noise for a couple seconds here anything can help you know oh, oh there was one down there oh good that fish was right on the bottom because he he made the cloud it move he made it move a lot look at that ready he's gonna bite oh he's gonna bite he's gonna bite he's gonna bite he's gonna bite oh no my jig came off Oh, he's stuck in him. No. Dang, he swallowed it and my freaking line broke. <laughs> That's not what you want to happen. God dang. Yep, here's one. He's gonna, he's gonna bite. You got, you, got, you got him. Sweet. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he came off. You can check. You can check. About 10, 11, maybe, maybe the 12. thing was on you before yeah, he just, just he smoked just, it yeah I have a little buckshot catch, repeat. yep I have a little buckshot because this rainbow decided he wanted my my eye jig really bad yeah so since that rainbow took my uh, eye jig put on a very small buckshot there it is with a single wax worm on it that's what I'm fishing with. That's kind of what I cut that other one on. I just saw one. Pretty sure I saw one. Oh, yep, there he is. He's coming to yours. Mom, get ready. Well, he turned away. He's back oh, yep. Too. Saw him go by. I saw his tail go. Yep. He flashed past yours. What depth are you at? You flash past yours. Just keep digging right there. Good morning, what? So, well, we gotta be back at noon ish. So, we're gonna pack up. Cut two. I, I lost one because my line broke. And we see we've seen a bunch of other ones. But I'll probably go fishing this afternoon and tomorrow yet still, so stay tuned. Yeah. Be like South, seeing South Lake was it? Well, quite the haul down that, uh... Oh my gosh. I had, it's, all, it's all on YouTube if you want to see it. Though. I got your email. Yep, yep. That's yep. right, that was, you, that was you guys talking to? Yep, yep. Okay. So, heck yeah. But Quite a few people trying to hit North Lake at all? With a I don't portion. know. What's that? I don't know, Four and it, and thing. that's another good question for you. Can we do that? Can we get up there? Or? I don't think so. I that's think, what I thought because I, uh, you have to ride the sand uh, beach. Yeah, you gotta get in the sand beach to get through there. Which is Canada. Yeah. Because even they didn't one give one us. Uh, so they revoked my yeah. remote port yeah. across. Really? Yeah. Well, good. Well, I'm glad that everything's going good at the resort. And yeah, it's been great. Oh yeah. A lot of yeah. lot of business, so, right, Ma? Yeah. What? A lot of business. Yes, it's been busy. Very. Thanks, guys. Good you. Yeah, we'll see you later. Told you they'd come. Yeah. Better have your trout stamps, ladies. Good. Well, it's Sunday now. It's freaking cool looking out. The trees are covered in rain from last night. The trail was like sheer ice, but 
I came, uh, I gotta be in town by noon, so I figured I would come and fish. Cool, the sky is like open over here and then it's foggy down at the end of the lake. I found my spot, so I'm gonna set up and uh, try to get on some bigger rainbows before I have to be in town. <laughs> Down there and my jig was gone, bro. I got one. Jesus. That happened so fast, dude. Look at this. Check that out. Nice beautiful rainbow. Wow. That happened so fast. I didn't even I didn't even have time to react. I looked down there just to check my jig. My jig was gone. I was out to the side of the hole, grabbed my rod, and I could look down there. And he just he was playing with it. So that's how it's gonna go. Now I'm looking for a little bigger fish. They get a lot bigger in here, but uh, heck yeah, I'll take it. My green buckshot did it for me. All right, just so I just got fully set up. I'm feeling really good about this spot. Perfect six feet. Now I just need a fish to cruise by. I'm at just about perfect. I know there was a couple people here before, before me. They're out. They're out deeper though. I've always fished this spot. It's only six feet deep. My grandpa used to have a cabin on this lake, so I can see my bait. I can see right to the bottom right here. So it should be pretty cool if something comes in. Oh, want a big fish? It'd be sweet if a big one came rolling through. That one's pretty good size. He's a good eater. But I want, I want one big one. That would make this perfect. It's so cool seeing the bottom. Seeing what's down there. Except every other time I've ever fished here, I've been on rocks. So maybe I'm right on the transition. I know about 20 yards to my right, there's a, like, you know, it's like four or five feet. So <laughs> I'm probably right off the edge. I tried to put myself right on the edge where it drops into deep water. So. Hopefully when they, you know, cruise up or cruise the edges of it, that, uh, those big ones that, that I'm right in their face. Well, I guess we'll see here. Yes, here he is, here he is. Here's one. Oh, dude. Dude, come back, come on. Eat it. Oh my god, twice. Oh, there he is. For people that don't fish a lot, you gotta understand that trout are really, really hard to film because they're so fast. Unless I had an aqua view down there that was watching watching my jig like right next to it or like a ways away from it. It's hard to really turn on the camera as soon as they come in the hole because a lot of times if they do bite, um, as soon as they're in the hole, they're on my jig, so... You know, it takes a couple seconds for the camera to start, so I'm trying my best, but it's almost stressful because it's like I want to, you know, I want to get, I want to get this, but, but, uh, it's just super hard. They're super fast. Well, it's now, uh, 8.59, it's 9 o'clock. <clears throat> Haven't had a fish come in in about mm, probably 10, 15 minutes now. The snowmobile just started up over here. I hope, I hope he kind of scares him or scares him around because needs some action. I might fly the drone here quick. Hopefully, y'all like this footage. <laughs> Got him, got him.
one, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. There's another one down there, too. Oh, dude, he came roaring in. Players. Look at this beautiful trout, dude. Oh, that's sick. Drop this down there just because there's a fish around. I'm going to get some waxies out. Had him playing right on the bottom. That was sick. Yeah, that was sweet. He chased that thing. Yeah, so he came cruising in right on the bottom and he, he missed me. I was I was busy bouncing it and he missed it right when I when I first when he first tried to get it. So he missed it. He turned around. He missed it again. Turned around. I let it sit and he just just grabbed it, double grabbed it, he spit it out, turned around again, came back, grabbed it. The first time he grabbed it, that time I freaking gave him it. As soon as I set the hook, I saw another one go. I'll get a couple more waxies out. No, put a couple more on. Hopefully we can get like one more. If I had three, that'd be that'd be perfect. Just enough to smoke. This rod I'm using, uh, I got a little earlier this year. I thought it was gonna be not as stiff. But um, it's actually pretty stiff. It's a it's a Fenwick Elite Tech medium, 28 inch. I was I was re originally gonna get it for like crappies, but it's too stiff for that. It's a it's pretty heavy. So actually, so then I figured out after I crappie fished with it that I was gonna use it for trout or small trout like splake and uh, maybe some smaller browns and uh, rainbows. With the fish that I've caught so far on, it's working perfect. Uh, put the Daiwa QZ750 on it. Uh, it's just a nice little reel. And I think on here right now I have 8 pound test. Here, I'm, I'm going to switch it pretty soon though because I don't know how I feel about this line. But I probably put braid to a leader. But no, it's been working good for me. I really like it. It's light. Uh, it is really stiff though. But it is nice for trout though because you want it. You want it pretty much... You want to pull pretty good with them. Keep it pretty tight. I don't want something too flimsy, you know. Make if they head shake, they get off. But I don't want something on a board either. So, you know, this has still a little bit of a tip, but it's not not like not like a tickle stick, you know. He's gonna got him, got him. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Get up. Yes. Heck yeah. Oh, that was sweet. Around the bottom again. Same size. God, that happened so fast again. By the time I see them to the time they're on the rod is like a few seconds. Fun, man. I love watching these fish come in. It's just sweet. They're all the same year class. They're all perfect size eaters. I wish I, wish I caught one bigger one. That'd be nice. I did forget a fish bag though, so that's unfortunate. Something's gonna have to get slimy. I'll probably put them in my bucket. So I think like half of my fish have come in probably like mm, halfway up. But two of them that have bit, two out of my three. Oh, there's, oh my God, there's one. Gonna shot. Got him, baby. Got him, baby. Come up, come up. Got him, baby. That's the freaking funnest thing ever, man. If you've never sight fished rainbows, gosh, it's a heck of a day. Yeah, right on the bottom like that. Half my fish have been like right down there. Actually, he came in up higher. I was still talking about my fish that have come in up high. They're committing a lot more than they were this morning, that's for sure. I couldn't tell if that was two fish or if it was one. Because when the when the first one left, it looked like the second one came in, but it could have just been him turning around. That was wild. I couldn't tell how this day was going to go when I got here this morning because it was so nice out. You know, every time they grab it, they grab the actual grub instead of the, the lure. So I pretty much wait until the grub is in their mouth fully. I can't see it. And then I set the hook. Because then I know those troubles are going to dig right into his top lip, you know. 
that's what I'm kind of getting out of this situation so far. If I uh, if I jiggle it too much, you know, you kind of want him to just come in and follow it right right to it. He knows he knows hit it though. That's the first trout that I've had that actually came in and bumped it with his nose, but didn't open his mouth. Very, it's so interesting watching these trout. You know, so different than when when they're on a graph. You know, you can't tell on a graph. That fish on a graph would look like a blob, and then a knot, and a blob, and then a knot, and then a blob, and then a knot. The blob, and then you barely feel something. And oh shucks, my other waxy fell off. All right, I'm officially out of wax worms. So I got the last two on here. I'm either gonna catch one more fish, or I'm sitting here for another. Mm, oh, ten minutes. Hopefully, one comes screaming in, and it's a little bigger. Those are all the same year class fish. Those for sure. Like 13, 14 inches, I think. But I turned the heater off so it could cool down and get one more in here. By the way, if you guys are all wondering why I brought a separate chair and I got a whole bench, there's two reasons. First of all, in a chair I can sit over my hole and watch because I knew I was going to sight fish. Second reason, I don't like my case sitting on the ground because then it's hard to reach everything. So having it right here is sweet because I can just literally it's just a bench, you know, it has all my work tools on it and super nice. So uh oh. Well the good thing is my rope stayed out. So all I have to do is retie, but that could have put me in a bad spot. Just gotta not let go of it. That would be horrendous. Especially when you gotta be in town at noon. Look at that. Wow, I'm the luckiest guy out here right now. Almost got a limit of rainbows and was able to fix my recoil. for a while in town after I got done fishing this morning it was a pretty good day fishing got a couple rainbows beautiful day out we'll get this stuff ready unpack everything and then pack everything back up and tomorrow I head <laughs> with my dad and Wyatt and we're gonna fish some rookies so uh, this is Jarrett with Northern Tactics if you like the video subscribe like Share it around, turn on your bell notifications, and I'll keep them coming. Thanks. Y'all, see you bye.